Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 30th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to follow our trades over here at Ether. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we have basically been all over the place. We actually fell in the beginning of the session, the US session, and then we rallied and then gave most of those gains back. At the moment, we're up to 0.2%, give or take, and technical indicators at this point are still in bullish territory, but they are fairly flat at this current stage. So we're approaching the top of the bullish band and we are at 69 in the RSI. So we're approaching overbought conditions and usually what that means is that we'll pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, which is at 4,136 at this, at this point. Break below that opens the door to the bottom of the bullish band, give or take 4,050. Otherwise, the target here will most likely to the upside will most likely be 4,250. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones did fall towards the middle of the bullish band and then rallied. It was also getting uh, close to overbought conditions. We're at 62 at this point, so uh, now we're still fairly off those uh, uh, overbought conditions. But technical indicators, they have turned around. They were fairly bearish the last few trading days. We have been, been trending towards the bottom of the bullish band. And then we basically rallied today. So we're quite far away from the top of the bullish band. So we could see this rally up towards, give or take, 34,257, uh, which is the top of the bullish band. We should break, if we break below the middle here we could head towards the lower part which is at 33,312. So let's look at the Dow Nasdaq sorry. So you can see Nasdaq has also been all over the place. It fell towards the middle of the bullish band at the 13,827 and then rallied and then gave most of those gains back and now we're down 0.12 percent. So basically started off uh, ended at the same place as we started so if you look at technical indicators they are fairly uh, bearish at this point we can see the macd is just crossing the signal line indicating bearish momentum the stochastic is bearish or has crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum cci is, big, is flat and the rsi is flat so we're at 60 we are there's a lot of room to the upside there's also a lot of room to the downside so at this point it is um, complete gamble whether or not this goes to the upside or goes to the downside there have been um, really good um, earnings released from uh, from from most of the big tech companies but that has not have had a major effect on the nasdaq um, so yes a company like apple had amazing earnings but uh, nothing really happened at this point and that should probably be taken into consideration that this market probably will pull back before going higher. It is an uptrend and um, there is no reason to bet against this market. Um, we have occasionally fallen towards the 200 moving average, but um, there's no indication that this market will do that uh, at this current stage. Probably as far as this market will drop is towards uh, 13,300, which is the previous highs here or just uh, above the or at the 50 moving average. Otherwise, 15,000 will most likely be our long term target. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX did fall all the way to the bottom of the Bullinger band and then rallied. We are just uh, trending just above the 20 exponential. And if you look at technical indicators, they are not looking really good for the German DAX. It could be if we get another candlestick un underneath the 20 exponential, then we could head towards the 50 moving average down here at 14,710. So yes, just considering this uh, technical indicators, they are very bearish at this point. So this has been rallying significantly all the way to basically the beginning of uh, March. This has been rallying and there have been several um, several uh, instances where um, it was expected for this to basically fall towards the middle of the bullish band or even towards the bottom. So here was one where it got significantly outside of the bullish band. It just went sideways. Nothing really happened. 
and we had this additional rally towards the upside and then we fell towards the middle and now we have just been trending sideways and now we're seeing a little bit of weakness in the DAX and I think there will probably be a pullback before going higher otherwise if we rally above the middle of the bullish band then we are most likely heading towards 15,500 or 16,000 otherwise tech indicators are very bearish at this current stage so let's look at UK 100 so very similar here UK 100 it rallied up towards 7,012 and then basically gave all of those gains back at this current stage technical indicators are flat or becoming bullish so they're fairly mixed so MACD is is, is bearish the stochastic is flat the CCI is becoming bullish and the RSI is flat so We'll mostly define major support here at the middle of the bullish band, which is at roughly 6,900. A break below that opens the door to the 50 moving average down at 6,771. Otherwise, a break above these previous highs, which is at 7,036, that will open the door all the way up towards um, 7,100 and probably 7,200. So let's look at China 150. So China 50 has rallied up towards the 50 moving average and uh, it is looking, uh, well, more promising at this current stage. We need to break above the 50 moving average and get a green candlestick above, uh, close above the 50 moving average in order to conclude or basically give a higher probability of this rallying to the upside. If we break down below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 200 moving average and break below the 200 opens the door all the way down to the 16 and 15,000. Technical indicators are favoring the upside at this current stage as we have been rallying from the 200 moving average all the way up towards the 50. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at eTrill. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.